Hi campers, Gary here from Cross Camping and Leisure, Inflatable Tents Online. Uh, shall we go and have a look at a big boy? When I say a big boy, I mean Outwell's big boy. The uh, Outwell Wolf Lake 9E. There we go, let's just, let's just stand there and have a little look at it. Now that is an awesome tent. From the Outwell Elan range, New for 2017. It's a large, officially nine berth inflatable tent. I think you'd be pushing it at nine, but you know, it, you could sleep plenty of people in there. The Elan range, uh, there's some that are pole tents and some that are inflatable. This one, as I say, the Wolf Lake 90 is inflatable. But before we look at anything else, let's go and look at the fabric. So this is a 300 denier fabric. A lot of tents are 70-75 denier. Some of the better inflatable tents are 150 denier. Uh, this is a 300 denier. And I understand that some people or some manufacturers call it a Taslon fabric, something like that. But I don't know. It's so hard to show you in a video. It is tough. I mean, it, it sort of feels like a, a, an old canvas, but it's a polyester. Um, really really tough tough fabric if you've got young children for instance and you want a tent that's going to last you the next 10 12 years or whatever yeah the Wolf Lake 9e is probably the tent for you so this tent comes in two parts um, reason being it's a it's a big bag it's heavy so from about there backwards is one bag and from about there forwards is the other bag and the tent zips together so what you do is you basically lay the rear part of the tent out and peg the four corners inflate that part of the tent um, and then you uh, basically zip on the front compartment inflate the uh, front beam peg that out and then finish off all the pegging uh, let's uh, go and have a quick look at the inflation uh, points in fact on this one so down here you will find uh, an air in and that is where you inflate the tent and the air out is where you let the air out so the front compartment front awning has that section and then down the side each one of those beams also has an in and an out and that's because you blow up each individual beam on their own comes with a pump um, a sort of stirrup pump people would call it and uh, it takes about 10 maybe 20 seconds maximum to blow up each tube as you see lots and lots of really bright guy ropes uh, we've probably got them a little bit too close to the tent but you know we have to pitch the tent on display here so uh, yeah a little bit tighter in than you would probably want to do it nice big vents above the windows and those windows are sort of a smoky tinted colour and the reason for that is so when you're inside the tent you can see out very clearly but if you're a little distance away walking past uh, a little bit harder to see inside the tent nice and tall uh, above that front door there um, I'm five foot ten so we'll, we'll get an idea of how tall it is when we go in and I try and reach the uh, middle of the tent now that big front door is rolled back and that front door also has a window built in with a zipped curtain uh, all the windows have uh, zips for the curtains so the curtains can be fully down halfway up wherever you want and that big front door also has a huge la large mesh panel as do the two side doors so you can get lots and lots of airflow through it let's have a quick look down the other side So, yeah, lovely looking tent. Now, in the front compartment here, we've got the footprint down. And that footprint for this tent goes all the way right from the front of the tent right the way to the back. The front awning part here does come with a uh, extra ground sheet, a bathtub sort of ground sheet that rises up and toggles in. Um, so you can fit that in if you want or not. If you don't, then this footprint covers pretty much most of this area, but there is a little bit of a gap around the edge but uh, you can probably just see a little toggle there 
little toggle there and that's for the bathtub ground sheet so now we're in here you can see nice big vent above the window zips for the curtains and in this front porch there is a beam that runs across at the top which just inflates and velcros in there's the big chunky zip for this front awning part and we're going to go outside there and have another quick look because you will see that that zip is around about here but this flap goes right the way over and the guy ropes come through there nice big bit of a bit of uh, elastic there so there's a great big flap that covers right the way over let's go back inside so this partition as we walk inside we've got it opened up halfway you can if you follow that yellow bright line along the bottom there's a big long zip there a zip also around the top so that whole section can roll back there's a big mesh panel here and on the inside is a curtain that rolls up so you can close that off or you can have it uh, open the tent actually pegs down along the front here so you would just literally peg a hole straight through the footprint um, there's not a pre-set hole for the footprint there is on the um, bathtub ground sheet for in this this area but uh, on the footprint there isn't and, and footprints you know they are what they are they're just sheets that you put down to keep the rest of the tent nice and clean and safe I personally don't even peg down along the uh, front there um, reason being kids running out there's a little bit of a step there I actually like it to be a bit more flexible so the beams on these are a good size nice gothic sort of shape and in here is the living area in the living area is this sort of large two berth sleeping compartment and the whole idea of that is yes that's the extra space but i personally would take that down if i uh, had to use it i'd prefer not to use it but if i had to use it because the amount of people camping with us then during the day i would just unclip it I'll just drop that completely down and chuck it in one of the other bedrooms. Uh, it just gives you so much more usable living space. So let's just do that. Drop it down. And that opens up the other window there for more light to come through. So now you can see we've dropped that, that down and you've got a lot more living space. So the left hand door over there has a mesh panel all the way down that zipped solid door with a window with a zipped curtain and then over on the right hand side exactly the same so you can got, get lots of airflow through there and then one of the key things with the, some of the outwell tents is the depth of these bedrooms most tents two two meters ten depth front to back on the bedrooms these are far far deeper so if you've got a camp bed they work really really well now that's one big bedroom easily fit a double bedroom uh, double um, air bed in there easily a double bed in there and in there um, I think you would be pushing it to get three people in that that compartment unless you were just on sleeping mats now the curtain the dividing curtain on this side zips all the way around so you can have that completely sealed Whereas the dividing curtain on that side zips down at the back and at the front, but is loose at the bottom. Handy if you've got young kids and you want to just, you know, be able to get through through quickly there. Nice and dark in the bedrooms. And that's one thing with this tent. Um, really dark green fabric. Fairly dark top to it. And I was just going to say about reaching up to the top. Yeah, I'm five foot ten and I can sort of reach and squeeze the tube but it's it's still fairly high yeah going back to the light um not the lightest of tents in comparison with some tents personally i quite like a dark tent i mean you can always stick a light on in it but a dark tent early in the morning especially in the bedroom area is fantastic now i'm not saying it's you know pitch black in here but it is a heavyweight fabric and it is a dark fabric um yeah so maybe a little bit darker than some of the, the very light tents 
you've got mains electrics little zip down the bottom there and no doubt a little zip down here somewhere there'll be another one uh, let's have a little look see what we can find Yep, yeah, there we go, the other zip for the electrics and up the beam are Velcro tabs leading up to a hanging point there. So, big mesh panels on the sleeping compartment and the doors also have a mesh panel with a curtain behind them. Yeah, awesome. We love this uh, Wolf Lake 9E. Um, ain't cheap, but you get a lot for your money. So if you've got any questions, give us a shout. Um, if you want to keep seeing more of these videos and some of our handy hints and things like that, subscribe to our video channel. Um, and better still, come and buy your tent from us. We've got plenty of tents to see, loads more to still pitch. Um, we specialise in large, top-end, good quality inflatable tents. We don't bother with any basic ones. Um, you know, these are built to last and that's Gary from inflatabletentsonline.co.uk. Cheers!